Hi and welcome to OIT5 MES Models of Eye Service. My name is Mary Vukisevich and you can see a picture of me there on the screen on the right hand side. No doubt though you already know me from previous orthoptic subjects. This subject was created for you by staff in the orthoptic discipline including myself, Connie Coquelanis, Jean Pollock and Suzanne Vasalo. It is a completely online subject and you'll be accessing all the content from the La Trobe University LMS site. In this video, I'll go through where to find all the resources and tell you step by step what to do. Please note that the subject runs across both semester one and semester two. The quiz assessments are due in the first half of the year and the assignment which we will be completing in groups is due in semester two. What is ORT5 MES about? Well, this subject will introduce you to the importance of quality, efficient, patient-centered delivery of eye health services. You will develop an understanding of the relationship between health policies, evidence-based practice, and quality improvement. Using an inquiry-based learning program, you will learn how to design, implement and evaluate quality improvement programs in a clinical setting. And as a student of this subject, you will also develop an appreciation for the numerous issues, drivers, demands, complexities, and consequent impacts related to change and improvement in the clinical setting. Well, why do you need to know all this? Orthoptic graduates are expected to have understanding of and be able to implement a service management program to monitor and treat eye disease and also to critically evaluate and update and improve the program through engaging in ongoing cycle of review, auditing, quality reporting to value add to the service and the service delivery for patients. Let me now take you through to how to navigate the LMS site. This is the page you'll see when you open the site and the front page contains the subject information and then the five subject modules underneath labeled one through to five. Let's firstly have a look at what is contained in the subject information section. In the subject information box, you're going to find several resources and let's look at the ones on the top first. Firstly, there's a page which takes you through to the subject description and this tells you what the subject is about in addition to the learning outcomes. Under that, you'll find the timetable guide. As I've mentioned, the subject includes five online modules which you should complete in the order presented. And the guide is just to help you keep up with those modules. There are no face-to-face -face classes that you'll be attending for this subject. Now, you should spend approximately 10 hours on each module and the timetable provides a timeline for study where you will note that you should take no, no longer than about two weeks to complete each individual module. Underneath that, all the information about the assessment for the subject can be found and you will need to make yourself familiar with the requirements and the due dates. There are quizzes and a team assignment that you need to complete. And each module has several components and tasks. I'll go through those shortly. But to help you keep up with everything and keep all the information compiled, we have created a student workbook where you can compile all your answers to the tasks and make notes. This is available both in Word document and a PDF. And you don't have to actually submit this workbook. It's purely a resource for your own learning and just to keep everything together for the year ahead. The next section in the subject information box relates to assignment resources. So apart from the online quizzes, you will be required to complete a team assignment. The first thing I need you to do is sign up for a team and then read through the assignment guide so that you know what's involved and when you have to submit it. The document under that called Orthoptic Workforce Classifications and Labour Costs is a document that will help you um, with your assignment. And then finally, when you're ready for submission, you submit that in the, um, in the section below. Now, some of the module activities require that you discuss things with your group or team. So when you're signing up for a team for your assignment, they, those are the people that you'll be working with on all tasks through the semester. 
And then finally, at the bottom of the subject information section, you'll find the links for all the quizzes. Each module has its own quiz, and then the final quiz covers all five modules. Again, refer to the assessment page for information about when to complete these. Be aware that they are only open for a certain time, and especially the final quiz is only open for one week. So you'll need to document that in your diary and make sure that you get that done. Now let's have a look at the actual modules themselves. There are five. Introduction to the Australian Healthcare System, Patient-Centred Care, Burden of Eye Disease, Health Workforce and Developing Efficiencies in Healthcare. They all have their own specific folder and I'll open the first one to explain the content contained within. Basically they all look the same so let's just use the first one as an example to show you what's where. So here's what it looks like when you open one of the modules and you'll notice that each module is based on readings from a variety of sources and in most instances there are links or PDFs to the document on the LMS site. So firstly you'll find the module learning outcomes and a brief instruction about working your way through each module. And a bit further down, you'll notice that each module comprises a YouTube playlist of the lectures for that particular module. And underneath that, you'll find the PDF of the lecture notes. And then under that, you'll find the relevant readings for that module. As I mentioned before, a workbook for all of the modules is available for you to download um, and record your answers in. So what you need to do is firstly start the module by watching the lectures in the YouTube playlist and then through the lectures you'll be asked to stop and perform some tasks which you can then um, then stop and do and then keep watching the video after you've done that. It's important that you complete the tasks so that you can reflect on and consolidate the knowledge that you're learning through this subject. Now it's it, the submission of the task is actually not required, but if you don't complete them, it will definitely disadvantage your learning and your ability to apply the theory learnt to your assignment and also your quiz assessments. In addition to that, you're encouraged to open up discussion on the LMS discussion board regarding the material presented in the modules. And, you know, this enables a shared dialogue and also enables you to, to stimulate discussion and debate. The lecturers will oversee the LMS discussion and contribute to the discussion as required. I think this covers most of the information you need to know at this early stage. If you have any questions, post them directly to the LMS discussion board. Please don't email any of the lecturers, just put all your questions on the LMS board. And finally, remember to keep calm and good luck. I hope that you enjoy this subject.